Temple construction in India started many more years ago. The oldest temples that were built of brick and wood no longer exist. Stone later became the preferred material. Temples mark the transition of Hinduism from the Vedic religion of ritual sacrifices to a religion of bhakti or love and devotion to a personal deity. For many temple not only for devotion to a personal deity there was unbelievable true cure human diseases. Same temple cure specified disease for human mental disorder, kidney problems, skin problems, etc. Now explore to mental disorder problem cured temple. Mental disorder person fully cured in this temple is placed at South India Tirukkarapalli Tamil Nadu. The name of temple Prasanna Venkato Kalapathy Temple. Gunasilam Gunasilam Vishnu Temple Abhamanasthalam is a Hindu temple dedicated to Vishnu located 20 kilometers from Trichy, in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It is located on the banks of River Kola Dam. A visit temple is believed to be a curative to the mentally challenged people who are taken to the temple and kept in the temple premises for 48 days. At the end of the 48 days it is believed that their illness is cured by the grace of the presiding deity, Prasanna Venkato Kalapati. The temple has set up a mental health rehabilitation center that has the official stamp of the Tamil Nadu government license. The first of its kind in Tamil Nadu. The temple has six daily rituals at various times from 6.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. and three yearly festivals on its calendar. The annual Brahmit Satham Prime Festival is an 11-day festival attended by thousands of devotees from far and near. The temple is maintained by a hereditary executive trustee. Etymology The name of the place Guna Silam derives from Guna meaning cure and Silam meaning place meaning the place in which illness is cured. Ganam also means qualities and Silam also means assuming a lower position. Hence Guna Silam is the place where Vishnu comes down and addresses the devotee's problems from his heavenly position. Legend In Vavrishadra Puranam one finds reference to the significance of this temple in Gunasila Mahatmyam. Philpiam Maharishi along with his disciple Gunasila Rishi once went to the Himalayas. On his way back, Gunasila Rishi stayed back at Tirupati and was so attracted to Lord Venkato Kalapathy that he wanted the Lord to appear in Gunasila and bless the devotees. He came back bathed in the Kauvery and undertook severe penance here in his ashram in Guna Silam. Impressed with his sincerity, the Lord appeared before him along with Goddess and promised to remain here till the end of Kali Yugam. Pleased with the darshan of Prasanna Venkato Kalapathy, Guna Silam Maharishi continued to offer his daily pujas to the Lord from his ashram here. At the end of the Dapara Yugam, the Gunasila Maharishi's guru wanted him to go to name a seranium. Gunasila Rishi designated his young disciple to continue the daily pujas. However, floods in the Kauvery and dangerous animals in the forest led the disciple to flee the place and thus the pujas came to an abrupt end. The Lord decided to hide himself in a pit. After several years, Chola King Nyanavarma, who ruled this place with Araya as the capital, used to visit Guna Silam regularly. Every day, cowherds would milk the cows from near the pit and carry the milk all the way back to his court. One day, to everyone's shock, the milk that was filled to the brim of the pot vanished all of a sudden. An invisible voice wanted the king to dissolve the pit by pouring milk. The king brought in his army and used thousands of liters of milk to complete this exercise. Once dissolved, Vaikunta Vasudevan is said to have appeared before the king as Prasanna Venkatasan. As per the king's wishes, the Lord agreed to remain here till the end of Kali Yugam and help fulfill all the prayers of the devotees, 
who visit this temple delighted at the darshan of Prasanna Venkata Kalapathy, the king shifted from Maranir to Kalar. This place was then called Adra Chakrapatinam near Gunasilam and built the beautiful Gunasilam temple and laid down the process of the daily pujas as directed by Prasanna Venkatasan. He also allocated a lot of land for the temple as well as funds to undertake the daily puja formalities. Architecture The temple bears absolutely no resemblance to what it was a quarter of a century ago. With Devotee's contribution, the hereditary trustees have transformed the temple to reflect modern-day architecture. New paintings and photographs adorn the temple, with modern flooring. There is written documentation that the temple should be renovated in the 5,000th year of Kali Yuga. The renovation was accordingly done. The temple has a shrine for Viganasar. The founder of Vekanasa Agamem legend says he was given Brahmanhood by Venkateshwara himself alongside Brahma, the god of creation. This temple construct and planned by Aranganathan Sthapathy. The central shrine of the temple houses the presiding deity Prasanna Venkata Kalapathy in standing posture. The image is depicted with four hands, one showing a Bayamudra. One carrying the weapon Gatha, one carrying Konk and other carrying the Chakra. There are niches around the sanctum with the images of Narasimha, Novanitha Krishna, Varaya, Sridevi and Pudavi. The conical Vimana above the central shrine is called Trinetra Vimana as it has three tiers. There are stucco sculptures on the Vimana depicting Narasimha on eagle Vahana Garuda and an image of Vishnu with Shankra and Chakra. The temple has a shrine of Vikasana Maharishi after whom the Vaganasa Agama of Vaishnavism is followed. There are delicate glasswork in the Paliari around the Sanctum Mental Health Rehabilitation Center. In addition to the complete reconstruction of the Gunasilam Temple, the trustees have also set up a mental health rehabilitation center that has the official stamp of the Tamil Nadu government license. Citation needed the center is equipped with individual rooms and toilet facilities. A psychiatrist visits the center once every week. There are volunteers who take care of these mentally challenged people on a daily basis. Sacred water is splashed on these mentally challenged people each day during Aki Kaalam Noon and Artha Jamam night for 48 days. Belief is that one will get cured if they sincerely offer their prayers to the Lord and follow this process. It is today a blend of faith and modern treatment, worship and festivals, mental rehabilitation center. The temple rituals are performed six times a day. Ashath Glam at 6.30 a.m., Kalasanthi at 8.30 a.m., Uchi Glam at 12.30 p.m., Thirumalvadadi at 5.30 p.m., Sauriakshai at 6 p.m. and Ardajamam at 8.30 p.m. Each ritual comprises four steps, Abhishika sacred bath, Alangaram decoration, Navithanam food offering and Deepa Aradhanai. Since Tirupati Lord himself appeared before Gunasila Maharishi, it is believed that those who are not able to go to Tirupati can visit Gunasilam and all their wishes are said to be fulfilled here. During the Uchikalam and Artha Jamam, water is sprinkled on devotees, which is believed to expel evil diseases and mental diseases. The major festival of the temple, Brahmitsavam, is celebrated in the Tamil month of Puratasi September. October for 11 days that includes a 9-day chariot festival. The Kaitri Thepot Savam festival is the float festival celebrated during the Tamil month of Shidurai March, April. The Pavatrot Savam is a 3-day festival celebrated during the Tamil month of Avani. Unlike other Vishnu temples where Thirumain Dhanam ablution is performed one in a week, 
The temple has Sri Majanam performed daily to the central deity. The temple is maintained by a hereditary executive trustee. Hi guys, this is Explore India YouTube channel. Please subscribe and click bell symbol. You will get my upload videos immediately.